This was my auntie May. She had a stroke. A stroke occurs when a blood vessel in your brain becomes blocked or bleeds, causing damage to the nearby brain tissue. For auntie May, this damage resulted in complete paralysis of the entire right side of her body. One in five adults will experience a stroke in their lifetime, meaning you, or someone you know, will be affected by such consequences of stroke. The good news is that the brain can change in response to the experiences we subjected to, including the experience of physical exercise. This brain adaptability is the foundation behind stroke recovery and rehabilitation, and is most responsive to early and intense training. However, patients like Auntie May with body paralysis are the least likely to get that early and intense physical training, even during stroke rehab. It is too strenuous for them and their therapists to get them up out of bed and practicing ambulation. In other words, practicing walking. Many patients fall prey to this vicious cycle of being unable to perform the very movements that drive their own recovery, and such was the case for Auntie May, who spent her days in bed. This got me thinking, as a physical therapist, what can we do to overcome this issue? Enter robotic exoskeletons, a new technology developed for spinal cord injury. This device straps around the torso and the legs to perform some or all of the work of standing and walking. What if we could use this technology in stroke rehabilitation as well to help patients like Auntie May? This question drives my thesis project. I am running the extra trial at rehab hospitals across Canada with two objectives in mind. The first objective is to determine whether this technology can enhance physical therapy and improve stroke recovery. By using this device to provide that early and intense daily walking practice, do our patients with stroke fare better immediately and in the long term? The second objective of my research is to explore the patient experience of using this device. By interviewing participants in the trial, we'll gain a better understanding of how this device impacts the stroke rehab journey in ways that we can't physically measure. This is the first trial of its kind in Canada. The findings from my research will guide the future integration of this technology into clinical practice. Whether we find that, one, it does enhance physical therapy and improves stroke recovery, or two, patients feel empowered simply by getting back up on their feet again, either of these findings is a step forward for stroke rehabilitation. It is my hope that through this research, we'll be able to offer our patients with stroke, patients like my auntie May, just a little extra. Thank you.